This is where it all started for me, or at least for me and John. Um, it's eight years since I lived in Sheffield and it's the Tramlines Music Festival this weekend and I've come back to uh, savour it. I love it. Every venue, every bar, every church hall is a live music venue for this weekend. And behind me, um, it's now called Crossed Wires, but it used to be when I was last here, eight years ago, Dina, which was a, um, a sort of a community cafe and creative centre, and they were raising funds. And on the table was uh, a book by the unknown John Butler called w Wonders of Spiritual Unfoldment, which the husband of a friend of mine, Karen Sherwood, at the Coppola Gallery in Hillsborough was selling with other spiritual books and it was a bargain, two pounds. I think it's 16 pounds now. Anyway, I couldn't put it down. I paid my two pounds and uh, it's cost me a fortune since. <laughs> Moving from Blooming Sheffield to Bakewell. <laughs> and uh, it's good to remember, but I feel like a country bumpkin coming back to the big city. <laughs> this is Paradise Square right in the center of Sheffield, next to the cathedral, which I can see ahead of me, we'll pass in a moment. Um, it's uh, all still cobbled and mostly, it certainly has been in the past, mostly solicitors' offices, but it's famous for two reasons. It's extremely quiet, there's not a soul about. It's only nine o'clock on a Sunday morning in the centre of a large city and we're here after a good night's rest in a, an apartment here after the uh, music last night which we really really enjoyed. Paradise Square is famous for two reasons. Um, the famous um, Protestant preacher <laughs> Whose name? Uh, Wesley. <laughs> I should, I should know my uh, my Christian uh, history better than that. Charles Wesley got it. Uh, famously preached here to a crowd one day in sixteen something or other. I wasn't here then, but I was here when uh, I recorded an album with uh, with three Christian friends in the studios of the YMCA, I think it was. Uh, Pete, Pete on guitar. Um, uh, an album of uh, songs called uh, Paradise Square. And uh, I, ha I can't say I can, I can't lay a hand on my own copy. I think I have got it somewhere, probably in storage. Uh, but I, I happened to look it up on Discogs, I think it's called, online, for rare albums, and it was £180. So, uh, surprisingly, I participated in uh, making a very rare record. Location in the centre of Sheffield, lots of the Peace Gardens, into uh, a new hotel at Radisson Blue. Blue Hotel, as Chris Isaac would sing better than me. This is the, uh, you can say, iconic Peace Gardens 
and I love this part of Sheffield. I've forgotten how important it is to the life of the city. It's got fountains which you're allowed to actually run through. We'll have a look. The kids will be jumping in. It's multicultural. It's multi-ethnic. Multi multi-coloured slush. If you like slush. I've never tried a slush. Maybe I should try it. There's a, a table there in there. Oh, it's just been taken with a with a palm tree uh, thatched hut. Uh, look. This, this. I must put the song on answer because people are saying what's all these bananas. I love this. Look at this. Let's have a summer song on. They've been doing uh, Seaside in Sheffield for years. It's Jalipa. Look, it's absolutely brilliant. Jalipa. Well, Jalipa. I don't know which is, but she's a good singer. And I love her. Oh, hook a duck. <laughs> I'm going to marry her. Please. What? What's, what's not to like about hook, hook a duck? <laughs> Win a goldfish or something. Brilliant. There's a sand pit. And uh, there's a helter skelter. And next to the helter skelter is the. Uh, is the offices of, it was in my day when I was in business here 10, 10 or more, 15 or more years ago, but it, it's the head, head office of the world's largest uh, firm of lawyers, believe it or not, called DLA Piper. And some of my best mates were big shots lovely guys, uh, big shots and they were always at work in, the, in their glass tower and I would wave to them from my helter skelter life <laughs> that's, that's not a bad way of putting it actually my helter skelter life right next to the helter skelter is uh, the Mercure Hotel which I, I stayed in, it's got a nice spa and behind me next to this Swiss house you can see the crenellations of the uh, of the of the town hall um, Sheffield uh, used to be called um, or rather the county used to be called uh, the Republic of South Yorkshire because it's famous for its left-wing Labour politicians like uh, Bill Mickey, who I supplied a computer to, uh, Richard Caborn, and of course uh, 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 David, he used to be our Home Secretary, <laughs> Dave, <laughs> the, blind, the blind politician from Sheffield. Uh, I can't remember this. Blunkett. David Blunkett. There's lots to like about Sheffield. <laughs> Stone Street, which is right at the centre, the very epicentre of Sheffield, between Fargate, which used to be the old shopping centre, and now um, is a bit past its best before date, 
and this is the Moor, which is the new shopping centre. And um, in between now, you can see the rust coloured building in the distance, and there's, that's all new. It's, it's not rusted <laughs> through age, it's rusted through by design. And I'm going to sit up there now with a coffee, or perhaps a little drink, but probably a coffee at this time. It's not 12 o'clock yet. But um, look at this fantastic building in between. The old and the new. This is, this, look, it's like a castle. It's like a Disney castle right in the centre of Sheffield. Um, surely somebody can develop that into a fabulous venue. Probably, you have to say, an eatery or a drinkery, which is fine. Uh, right, right in the centre of Sheffield. It used to be, um, I believe, the Salvation Army Citadel, and here we are. On, here we are on a Sunday in 2024, and it's gone to seed. I've just uh, passed um, the Roman Catholic Cathedral. Sheffield, like Liverpool, has got two cathedrals. So we've got one to spare. We've got the Anglican Cathedral, which uh, um, I have played in, actually, in my days in the worship team. And it's got St. Marie's Catholic Cathedral. You can just see its spire behind the town hall clock to the right. And the faithful were, fi faithful were filing out of there just a quarter of an hour ago. But for me, I'm a faithful coffee drinker and I'm going to go there. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm left to my own devices in Sheffield for the first time after eight years and I've turned into a, a shopper. I've just bought from two very nice lads in Yard's store, which I've never heard of. It's independent. There's only one other in Manchester. I've just bought the most expensive pair of socks I've ever bought in my life and they were half price in the sale. But I'm told they're Japanese and from a very, the best material you can buy for socks. So uh, after my 800 kilometer Camino walk, I thought I'd give my feet a treat. And honestly, I am very taken by, this is Cambridge Street, um, which uh, was, which, which is very famous, but it's completely transformed now. There's a wild garden and new offices I'm going to pop into this interesting shop Sos I can't even pronounce it Sostrin Grena no idea what's in there uh, I'll let you know well who would have thought it Danish design comes to Sheffield I was tempted and I fell do you like my new glasses these are plus two, but I bought another pair which are just 1.5. And uh, other things that I didn't know I needed, uh, an unruled notebook, a, a, ba a black biro, and uh, an oatmeal face flannel. Um, it's a sort of, in my opinion anyway, it's a sort of Danish Ikea. I think Ikea is Swedish, but this shop I can't even I won't even I don't even know the name whatever its name is I've never heard of them before but apparently there are 300 shops now worldwide and there's one in Sheffield what's not to like it's fun it's the magical I think that's John's favorite character <laughs> <laughs> 